Hi, in this video, we'll be learning how to deploy a Laravel app using Laravel Forge. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so we're going to be deploying this Laravel app that we created in a separate video. So I'll link to that video now so you can refer to it if you'd like to build this application as well. It's just a simple message board that saves all entries in a database. Okay, so next we'll need to set up an account with Laravel Forge. So we're going to go here to Laravel Forge and we're going to click register, but I already have an account. So I'm just going to go to sign in. Okay, so now I'm signed in. We'll create a new server. So go to create server and it's saying that we just need to subscribe to one of their plans. So let's go to billing and then we're just going to be deploying one site. So we could just go with the $12 plan and there's a free trial as well. So for first time users, so we're going to click subscribe. Okay, so over here, it just has a free trial, free five, free five day trial, and then $12 a month. Okay, great. So now we have a subscription. So let's go back to Forge. So now we're back here in the dashboard. Let's go to create server. And then we're going to use DigitalOcean. Okay, so it's just asking for some credentials here. And then give it a name, app server. So this region, you want to pick the region closest to your users. So Toronto. And then we're just going to pick the basic server here. So it's just the one gigabyte. Okay. And let's click create server. Okay. So these are the credentials for our for root access to the server. So make sure to keep these in a, in a safe place. And this isn't something you want to be sharing openly. So that's why I have it blurred out. Okay. So now the server is being configured. Okay, great. So our server has been created. Okay. So we also need to connect the domain. So we'll do that after first we'll add the Laravel app. So to do that, just go here into default, and then we're going to install the application using a Git repository. So now we need to create a, a GitHub repository on Bitbucket or GitLab, and then we can connect it to our server. So to do that, what we're going to do is back in our code base. Okay. So here in GitLab, what we're going to do is create a new repository. Let's just call this message board. Okay. And then we're just going to make it private. Okay. And then we're going to click create repository. Okay, great. So now we have this over here, we can go back to our terminal, and then we can create our GitHub repository. Okay, so back here in VS Code, what we're going to do is just follow the instructions. So we're going to create a new repository, just copy everything over git init. Git commit. Okay, we're going to go to the main branch and then add the origin. And then we're also going to add just a git ignore file. So we're going to do that. We're going to add a git ignore file. Okay, great. So we do have these files under the git ignore. So let's add that into the commit. Okay, and then again, just do a git commit. And then we're going to push this into our repository. And then we're going to git push origin main. Files have been pushed to our GitHub repository. Okay, so now let's add our remaining files. So let's again do git add all. Git commit push m. message board files. Okay, great. And then we're going to do git push. Okay, so let's see now if our files are all in, in the GitHub repo. So let's refresh. Okay, great. So all our files have been added here into the GitHub repo. Now we can connect this to Laravel Forge. So their instructions here is adding this SSH key. So let's do that. Okay, so here in our repo, we're going to settings and then deploy keys and then add deploy key. And then we can just name this forge. Okay, and then click add key. Okay, great. So now let's refresh this and then let's go to our repo right over here. And then we're going to uh, get the code here and then we're going to do SSH and copy that. And we're going to paste that here and then it's the main branch and then we're going to click install repo 
So I think the repo has been added. Okay, so let's just check the deployment logs. Okay, so then we're going to have to use this deploy script. So make dot env variables available to deploy script and then click update. Okay, and then let's click deploy now. Okay, so here in the logs, it's doing the necessary work to get the application up and running. The website is live now. So let's visit this IP address and see if our app is now online. Okay, so we still need to connect the domain. So let's just visit this site first. Okay, great. So our application is now live. So let's try to put a test message. Okay, great. And then if we refresh, awesome. So our application is saving all our messages and then the other pages we can check here getting great so now let's work next on adding a domain for our application because currently we're just using the public ip okay so we'll be connecting a subdomain to the website okay so over here in domains we're going to go to zone editor and then we're going to create a new a record and then so this is going to be Laravel mapletmedia.com and then we're gonna copy our IP address from here and then paste it into the A record and we're going to click add. Okay, great. So our A record is here. So now we can connect it to Forge. So back on Forge, we're going to add the root domain here. and then click add site. Okay, so we just need to do just the same thing again and just re-add our GitHub repository. So let's just do that again. Okay, so here into code, just get the, the SSH version again and paste it here and then main branch. Okay, and then we're gonna go to install repository. Okay, so again, let's just run this deploy script here and update, and then we're gonna go to deploy now. Okay, so let's view the logs. Okay, so I think it's been deployed. So let's view our domain. Okay, great, so now it's here on our subdomain which we set up laravel.maplitmedia.com and again it's still showing our test messages from before okay and just do one more test message okay great so this is working so now let's just add an SSL certificate. Okay, now let's just add an SSL certificate. So we can just use Let's Encrypt, so that one's free. And then click Obtain Certificate. Okay, so it's just gonna install right now. Okay, great, so the SSL has been added. Let's just double check. Okay, great, so we have SSL enabled now. So lastly, let's just go over how you can update your app once you make changes locally. So let's just change the About page here and let's just Add. let's just add some more content here saying that the site is now live okay, so back here in vs code so we're going to go into the about.php view and then we're just going to add just another paragraph this app is now live okay so let's just add that into the github repo okay so back here in the terminal so we're just going to go to cd resources and then cd views okay and then we want to add the about.php so now we added the about.php file and then we made a commit updated about.php and then after we pushed this new file into our repo and now let's check the website okay so back in our app here let's just refresh the page okay so this is why quick deploy wasn't working it's just that we just need to create a webhook for this push event so let's just click this link. Okay, and then just to push event and then click add webhook. Okay, great. So this should work now. So first let's just learn how to update the files manually. So again, what you want to do is just click deploy now and I'll get the latest version. Okay, so it's been deployed. Let's check the website back on the about page. Awesome. So this app is now live. So now let's try it again, just one more time, so we can test out the quick deploy method. Okay, so again, back in VS Code, we're just gonna update it again. So just add another one, and then we're gonna update the files again. So git add about.php, 
hit commit, update it about page again. Forgot the M flag, so just over here, dash M, and then lastly, git push. Okay, so now let's check our website again and see if now it's automatically deploying. Now our live app has this change as well, so we just refresh the page, and then here it is. This app is awesome. So now any new changes to your repo will automatically be updated to your live server. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to launch your Laravel applications with Laravel Forge. And if you're looking for professional Laravel development, then you can check out my agency, Maplet Media, as we offer custom software development. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.